In this video, I will compare Open Phone versus Ring Central and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. So they are pretty similar, but I'll just explain their main differences in terms of features, ease of use, which business size they are best for, and just overall which one I think is best. So first I'll go over what you can do with them. So OpenPhone claims that they are the best phone system for Teams and they bring your calls, texts and contacts into a collaborative workspace. You can see some examples of that right here. You can see inbound clients, you can see your team right there, any activity, analytics, contacts, stuff like that. Now the calls will also be recorded so that you can listen them back and also use it for training. Now in terms of the product, you have phone numbers, so you get dedicated phone numbers for work or bring your own if you already have phone numbers you want to use, you can set up your team, you get call summaries and transcripts using AI. You can make calling a more seamless and beautiful experience. You can do messaging. You have an API that integrates with a bunch of stuff. Now this is coming soon. You can stay on top of your relationship with a lightweight CRM. So if you don't have a CRM yet, then OpenPhone can also help you with that. And it integrates with a bunch of tools, which you can see down here. So you have HubSpot, Salesforce, Zapier, Google Contacts, Gong, and Slack. Now through Zapier, you can integrate to over 7,000 different apps. So basically you can integrate with anything. Now comparing this to Ring Central, Ring Central claims they are the leader in trusted AI communication. So they are very focused on AI. Now you can see what it does here, so you have Ring X, Ring CX, Events and Video, Revenue Intelligence and an open platform. Now the tool that is most similar to open phone is going to be Ring X. So it's a business phone system, you have a personal AI assistant that takes call notes, personalizes insights and crafts messages. You have messaging for team collaboration, chat and file sharing, video meetings and cloud faxing. Now you can see it is being used by some really large businesses such as Toyota, HP, Hugo Boss and a bunch of other ones which you can see here. And so is OpenPhone. So these are both very popular tools used by both small and really large businesses. So that means that whatever business size you have, you could use either OpenPhone or Ring Central. Now I want to take a look at their plans and pricing before telling you which one I think is best. Now with Ring Central, their plans and pricing depend on what you want to use, the number of users you have, and whether you want to bill annually or monthly. So the business phone, you can see the pricing here. Then Contact Center has separate pricing, so does video and so does events. Now I'm going to focus on business phone with monthly billing, and let's say we have 2 to 19 users. You can see Essential starts at €15.99 per user per month. Here you get 100 inclusive minutes per user per month, which is not that much. You will probably need to buy more. Then in the standard plan, you get 500 inclusive minutes per user, and this one is 22 euros 99 per user per month. You also get the internet facts, video meetings with up to 100 participants, on-demand call recording, up to 24 hour meeting duration, and some more integrations. So then next you have the premium plan, which gets you message, video, phone, and the open platform. And here you get 1000 inclusive minutes per user. And here it is probably coming close to what you actually need. And this one's 28 euros 99 cents per month. And here you get access to some more advanced features such as CRM integrations, custom roles and permissions, up to eight digit extensions with side codes, single sign on video meetings with more participants. And the most important one, I think, automatic call recording. Then they have the ultimate plan at $39.99 per user per month, where you get some even more advanced features. Now comparing this to OpenPhone's pricing, you can see if you bill monthly, OpenPhone has very, as it says, simple pricing. Whereas with Ring Central, you have the business phone, contact center, video events, amount of users, all of that. With OpenPhone, it's just three different subscriptions that you can get and you pay just one amount per user per month. So with Starter, this is the essentials to get you and your team up and running at $19 per user per month. Here you get one new local or toll free phone number per user. You get calling and messaging to US and Canadian numbers, voicemail transcripts and email ticket support. 
Then the business plan is $33 per user per month for businesses looking for more call handling and automation features. This is the best plan in my opinion. So you get the automatic call recording, HubSpot and Salesforce integration, call transfers, custom ring orders, group calling and the AI. So that includes the summaries and stuff like that. Then the enterprise plan is for organizations with more complex requirements. Now, if you scroll down, you can also see the messaging fees, how much it costs per phone number, stuff like that. Now, you will see if you want to do international calling and messaging, you can see the rates right here. So you need to pay extra for this. So, for example, I'm from the Netherlands. So for me, you can see right here what it would cost for calling and messaging. Now, if you want to have the AI call summaries and transcripts, you want to get the business plan, but the AI message responses is already included in the starter plan. Now you can also have unlimited shared phone numbers in the business plan and you get access to all of these features pretty much even in the start plan and then in the business plan you get it all. And as you can see the integrations are also very strong in the business plan. And you can see whereas with Ring Central you need to pay about 29 euros per user per month to get stuff like the CRM integrations and this translates to maybe 33 dollars per month. And with open phone, if you bill monthly, the business plan is also $33 per user per month. Now, one thing that is very important to notice with open phone, if you scroll down the core features calling in USA and Canada, you can do unlimited calls and messages, even in the starter plan. Whereas with ring central, it is only 100 inclusive minutes per user. And after that, you pay extra. So that means if you are doing more than 100 or maybe 500 minutes per user per month, then open phone is a lot cheaper. So for businesses that are calling a lot within the USA and Canada, I would personally 100% go with open phone. If you are outside of the USA or Canada and you don't call that much, then I would probably go with Ring Central. But for USA and Canada businesses, I think open phone is the clear winner. Now, if you look at the customer reviews, you can see Ring Central on G2 has 904 reviews and it scores 4.5 stars out of 5. Open Phone, on the other hand, has 1853 reviews and it scores 4.7 stars out of 5. So, Open Phone scores better. So, if you're in the USA and Canada, I wouldn't even consider Ring Central, I would just go with Open Phone, period. If you're outside of the USA or Canada, then I would probably go with Ring Central. Now, if you want to get 10% off your first three months with Open Phone, you can claim that through the link down in the description. So, click on the link in the description to get 10% off your first three month subscription with Open Phone. If this comparison of Open Phone versus Ring Central was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.